friends and happy Tuesday. I hope everybody is having a great day. I know that I am. <laughs> Although it is cold outside, it is about, well, right now my car says 44. It might be a little bit colder than that. I think it's because it was sitting in the garage and it's got that like, yeah, it's going down. It just now says 43. Um, so anyway, um, it's cold outside. <laughs> but this little, I, it's not Sherpa. It's just that soft, soft material or whatever. It's just super, super soft. What is this material called? Somebody tell me what this material called. Leave me a comment. Yeah, leave me a comment in the description box below. Y'all, my brain is fried. It's like, I don't know what, it's like fuzzy and I just gotta like take a deep breath and just be chill with it. Um, but anyway, yeah, leave me a comment below. Let me know what kind of like material this is. It is such a soft material. I got this the other day at, where did I get this? Old Navy. And uh, my niece Courtney was actually wearing a like light pinky one and I liked it so much. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is super cute. Um, but they didn't have the light pink one um, at Old Navy. So I got this like brown one because I never wear like brown or tan, you know? So I thought, well, I'm gonna wear this today and the temperature just like went down to 39. Um, I'm gonna wear this because it's just super cute. Now I do have one problem with it. it it is a little bit shorter than I like. Um, I like things to be a little bit longer past my torso. I like it to kind of cover up my bum a little bit more. And uh, it's fine though, it's it's not a big deal. It just kind of shows off my, my non-baby bump <laughs> in the front. <laughs> Anywho, um, I am headed, it's 9.30 in the morning, and yes, we are leaving for Georgia today, but I wanted to run to Walmart really quick and pick up a few items that I want to have with us. Um, we are bringing our toaster with us um, to the hotel where we're going to be because although they said that they do have a breakfast, it is not a full breakfast, um, so all they're really handing out is like pre-packaged things and I'm talking like pre-packaged like apples and and stuff like that I mean we'll find out more once we like get there and and check it out but I just prefer to have our toaster and have like our bagels and cream cheese and English muffins and and all that type of stuff with us um, that way I don't have to go downstairs and and grab stuff so it just a lot better it's just a lot easier and then when I don't have to like eat out every day either because I feel like if I go to like McDonald's and get a sandwich or something it's just it's just too much and it's just you know it's just too much to do and then it's too fattening it's too yucky and anyway nonetheless not that bagels are any better but it's less grease there's no greasiness to it so Anywho, so and I'm also going here to pick up some vitamin D. So I got my blood results back yesterday too from the doctor finally. And I my cholesterol is a little bit on the high side. Um, hence the reason why I need to stay away from Mickey D's. Uh and uh and my vitamin D was very low. So they they um, recommend that I go get a vitamin D over the counter. So that is what I'm gonna do. And then I've also been told to take a magnesium with that vitamin D um, to kind of like help the balance. So anyway, so I'm gonna do that. And then um, my ANA, which is my anti-nuclear antigen was negative, but my rheumatoid factor, which is my RA, was completely like super high off the charts. So they're gonna send me to a rheumatologist, which I already know that I have RA. We all discussed this a couple of months ago when I was in Panama City and got into the targets during the elderly hours or the autoimmune deficiency hours. So yeah. Um, but yes, so they want to, obviously she's going to send me to a, a rheumatologist to get some more testing done just to find out, you know, why my ANA was negative, but my rheumatoid factor is completely high. She's that, that just usually doesn't make any sense. Usually your ANA would be positive if your rheumatoid factor was that high. So 
obviously she just wants to send me to a rheumatologist which is fine i said fine you know i will go to a rheumatologist and just try to get some stuff figured out and then um but my cbc was fine kidneys are fine my thyroid was fine liver is fine so all of those things were good i was a little concerned that possibly possibly my thyroid was the issue but um, the vitamin D deficiency um, can cause a lot of um, other problems within your body like hair loss and I have been losing a ton of hair lately um, because of my vitamin D deficiency my left arm hurting and not being able to lift up heavy things or being very sore or my muscle hurt or my ache vitamin D deficiency, um, my heart palpitations, a vitamin C deficiency, um, dizziness, uh, blurriness, uh, just weird things like that they said um, can cause you your vitamin D deficiency can cause you to have a lot of these like different little things going on. So I'm gonna definitely try to get a vitamin D supplement and start taking that regularly. And then I wanna start seeing if I can notice any differences. And they definitely said I should. So I'm I'm ready for that. That's why I wanted to come do this like before I even left. I didn't want to like go another day without taking something. So if I find that this has been helping me, I will probably cancel my echocardiogram um, because I know I probably don't really need it. My heart palpitations are probably due to the fact that my um, uh, vitamin D was low. You know, she actually said my potassium was a little low too, so, um, which I remember her saying that. So that could also cause issues with my heart and make me feel all weird and yucky. So I'm gonna try to give this a try. I didn't, my, my appointment for my echocardiogram is not scheduled until December 28th. So I've got a couple of weeks to actually kind of get this vitamin D back into my body and see how well I start feeling. So we should You'll see but I'm at Walmart and I'm gonna go in here and grab a few things and um, I will see you guys in there so let's go to Walmart I thought I'd check out some of their Christmas ornaments while I'm here see I like this color it's like a lighter gold those are pretty and then I like the black so I think I'm gonna get the black ones to add to that tree I needed some like ivory, but I don't see just like plain like, ivories. Eh, I probably won't be able to find ivory now, but that is a pretty gold right there. I don't think I'll get that right now. They look like they still have a lot of stuff here, which is good to see. They still have a lot of stuff here. I got a lot of these picks when I was here last time. Oh, these aren't picks. These are very long picks. Those would be cute though in the tree. But those are $8. I don't want to pay for that right now. No. I probably should though because I won't have them when I come back. And... So I am back from Walmart and I thought I would just quickly show you guys what I picked up while I was there. It's very, very small. Uh, the first thing that I picked up, th isn't this the cutest little mug? It's like little marshmallows. And I absolutely just love it. I just think it's so cute for outside when we're roasting marshmallows to have like even some hot cocoa in it. So I'm going to put him over here in the sink and put him in the dishwasher and get him washed up. I got some Tom's toothpaste for our bathroom. I got some Pepto for our travels. I got my vitamin D. I got the Drano. I could not find magnesium, so I'll have to look at another place. Um, Drano. I got, um, these are English muffins. I got three of these, caramel macchiato. These are creamers for Brian's coffee. I got three of those because um, he was he like used those up in like a week. Um, I got, these are the little Jif peanut butter to go. We prefer Skippy, but they didn't have, um, no, we prefer Peter Pan, and they didn't have Peter Pan, so I got these. I got the bagels. I got some M&Ms for the drive. 
I got my cream cheese and I've got some more jeans because I have a hard time always finding these jeans. These are the time and true skinny jeans. These are the ones that I wear all the time. And when I find them, I get them. So these are awesome. Love them. Those are the ones I have on like right now. And I love these jeans. These are the best jeans I've ever, ever owned. And they're from Walmart. Like I said, time and true. So if you guys are questioning, looking, asking, those are the ones. I won't bring them because I need to wash them first. Um, and then this sweater, look how pretty this sweater is. I absolutely love this sweater when I saw it. I'm not exactly a big fan of the big, the front collar, but I'm sure that'll be okay. Um, or the neckline, but I'm sure that'll be okay. But this is so soft and so pretty. Absolutely loved it. And it was only um, $19. So super cute. And then I got these black ornaments for the Christmas tree in the dining room. So I'm going to put this stuff away and put this in our travel bags. And then, um, yeah, we'll be leaving in about 45 minutes. Alrighty, so all of our stuff is right back there by the door. Brian is actually pulling the Explorer out and then you're going to load it up and then we are going to get ready to go. Um, I came in here just kind of like looking at my tree again and like I think it's going to be okay once I get it all like decorated but right now it's just like <laughs> um, but I did like I did bring these in here so I think these are going to look super cute too and this is that table runner that I was talking about. The reason why I want to um, get black plates for this year I want to find black placemats and black plates. And I think I'm going to just go, to, go ahead and order them off of Pottery Barn because I, I absolutely love the ones on Pottery Barn plus all of the silverware as well. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then um, my black plates and the black placemats will look super pretty in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and still put this ribbon on the tree. I still think it'll look really pretty with the um, the, the gold and stuff. I think, I think it will. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, I don't know. Or I might just do the ivory. I don't know. I'll worry about all of that stuff once I get back home. Um, I've even thought about just taking everything off of there and not decorating at all because it's driving me crazy. But because we're having Christmas dinner in here, I need to. Oh, and another thing I wanted to do is somehow I wanted to take this ribbon off of this wreath and use um, one of these, probably the ivory one, for the wreath because but i just don't know how hard it's going to be to take those off so i'm going to have to work on that when i get back home so i'll just take this outside because it's kind of messy and try to take that bow off and just try to use it try to use the other bow for it so that's probably what i'm going to do because it does not match that's not gonna that's not gonna fly that's not gonna go too well <laughs> oh my gosh it is so cold i am so not like I don't like the cold weather. <laughs> it's so cold. Um, and this is where the masks come in so handy because of how cold it is. It like definitely protects you like through here. So I have been wearing it like from my car to a store or to the store to my car because it just, it helps so much better. And I actually got a ton of cute um, masks the other day at Old Navy too. They had um, buy one buy one get one half off so it was like to buy the set of them i think you get like five in a package or something like that or six and then um so we got those the one day and then the next day i got went back and i got some for five dollars for a whole pack of them um so some of them were christmasy ones so this one just looked like a little sloth with candy canes on it and this is the one i'm actually wearing today because it matches isn't it pathetic now we or me maybe just me um mainly me no no probably more I don't know. Tell me, do you guys like to match your masks now with your outfits? I mean, we're, we are in a world now where we have to wear a mask. Might as well make them match. Am I right? Um, we have to wear them so they have to look cute. And then I got these ones too, which are like the leopard print one, which also looks really, really cute with this. So um, I actually have, these are the two masks that I have in my purse currently. And then I have other ones that are um, in a Ziploc bag that I've already washed. And those are just in my computer bag inside of the Ziploc bag. Cause I know that I'll be using those ones um, sometime this week as well. And um, we are packed up and ready to go, but Brian has like the back open and it's still so cold. It's bringing in cold air and um but he has my my seat warmers on my buns are nice and warm and toasty i have toasty buns 
And then um, the guys who built our patio back there are actually going to be putting more brick around our house as far as um, uh, landscaping goes. So that's what they're kind of working on now. They're like, here he comes up our driveway. See? He's coming up the driveway. Yeah. <laughs> and there he goes. He's taking sand back there. Ooh, how scary. Oh, he's putting it right there where the truck goes. Ah, I see. Ooh. I see, I see, I see. Okay. So I'm still waiting for Brian. Um, he actually moved the truck down here. Now it's in the street because he had to move his other truck up in the driveway so those guys can get through um, dumping off the sand and the brick. But anyway, I wanted to tell you guys. So we just got the notice today too that our subdivision, remember back on October 31st, they did like the witches ride here um, and all the ladies got together and dressed up as witches and we got in everybody's vehicles or golf carts and whatever and we kind of threw candy around. Um, so they actually are doing another one um, for Christmas, but this is a Santa Claus is coming to town um, type of uh, parade and I guess someone's going to be dressing up as Santa Claus. I haven't heard any of the other details, so I don't know if the ladies or anything are going to be dressing up, say, like as elves and maybe handing out candy and whatnot, but um, all I know is that it is happening on the 19th at 2.15 here in the subdivision, and I'm not sure yet if we're actually going to be here. Brian and I have actually talked about going to Nashville that weekend because it's our um 18 year wedding anniversary um we were just gonna go up for the day and just kind of hang around opry mills and kind of do the they don't they're not doing the ice this year where they do the big ice sculptures they're not doing that this year they're doing um the movies of christmas where you walk through all the sets of the christmas movies and all the sets but there's sets of christmas movies so we were curious i just noticed they put a fence up at that house and the sign is now gone, which I knew that house sold. And I knew they're supposed to be closing on the 19th, I think they said, or the 18th. But they already put a fence up. I didn't know you were allowed to, like, you shouldn't put a fence up until the house is, like, sold and the papers are signed. Ew. Um, so anyway, so yeah, we were going to go up there, but we're not sure yet. We haven't, like, decided yet if that's something that we really want to do. Oh, UPS dude is making a UE. Well, you sure didn't know how to do that very quickly. Dang, good job, UPS dude. I just hope I didn't have a package in there that you're missing. Whoa, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. If I was gonna hit the mailbox. <gasps> that would have been bad. So anyway, that's it. Oh, we're going. We made it to our hotel in Snellville. So this is actually the first time I've ever been in this hotel, which is nice. This is a nice little place where you come eat, watch TV, snack. That's the entrance right there. They have coffee, hot water. Nice. Brian's checking us in. So here's our room at the Hampton Inn in Snellville. That's the door that you walk in. This is like the little kitchenette area. It's got a microwave, a little sink, refrigerator, coffee over there. I've already laid out some of our stuff um, just to put it on the counter and have it here for tomorrow. I'll put the toaster here too when I bring it in. And you walk in, you have a little couch, which probably makes out to bed, I'm guessing. And then a little area over here, a desk, and then the TV right there, and then a bed. And then they had this little thing here too, which is really nice because you could put your suitcase on there. And then they have the sliding doors that I absolutely love. I love the sliders. I always wanted sliders. And then this is the bathroom over here to the left is the closet and then it has like a nice little sink here and then a nice large walk-in shower very very nice very nice and very clean and i like it and then of course we have the this is our view good old snail bill the five below the joanne fabrics the home depot cracker barrel right there just Snellville.
we are going to our favorite sushi place for dinner tonight and look at they have no face mask no entry Alrighty guys, so we are back from dinner. You guys know we always went to that same sushi place when we lived here. We absolutely love it. It did not disappoint at all. It was so good. And then we were just like talking to the people, the owners in there because they recognized us. So we were just kind of talking with them. So I didn't even bother to share our food. I'm so sorry, but let me just tell you, that stuff was super good um but i think um tomorrow i'm probably just gonna go shopping around obviously home goods is right here tj maxx is right here i'm probably gonna go into target i'm probably gonna go into old navy um i'm just gonna kind of do some shopping i know Mc, um, mc twinklings is right down the street which is a christmas store that i always used to love to go to and then um possibly there's a new grocery store that they built down the street too that i kind of been wanting to go to i don't know we'll see we'll play it by ear it's a possibility that I might meet Brian for lunch with the um, class that he's teaching and stuff like that. I don't know. I always like to get out and do things early around here. If you guys remember that, um, I just like to be home by noon because it gets so crazy out here with traffic. But anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today or with me today. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the little bit that I did share. If you did, huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, I hope you guys watch that stocking stuff for video that I posted today. I will leave a link to it up here. Plus, I will put it in the description box below if I remember that. And also, don't go, don't forget to go over to Karina's Facebook page. I mean, her YouTube channel which is life's little things with a z and subscribe and watch her uh stocking stuff video as well so with that being said i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna watch family guy and big bang after this and chillax i've already taken the makeup off my face and got my jammies on i'm gonna edit this video and try to get it up for probably tomorrow i'll see you guys tomorrow in my next one